Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Prelims High Yield series. As a part of the Prelims High Yield series, we will discuss defense exercises. In case if you missed out the previous Prelims High Yield series, you can refer in a separate playlist, it's a, which is named as Prelims High Yield series. Okay? I think yesterday we discussed about the COP summits. COP 27 and 28 as some of the students uh, requested rest of the COP meetings also I will cover don't worry about that so in today's we are going to discuss about this defense exercises and here all these defense exercises generally they are news between the January to March okay and the main purpose of the defense exercises is generally it improves the relation between the countries and we can know the different operating conditions and of course technology also the new technology can be acquainted so these are the various benefits okay so now if any country is doing defense exercises with all the three areas like you know army navy air force that is known as trilateral exercises there are certain trilateral exercises also there with india at the end of this video we will discuss about some of the common defense exercises and their names and the countries that we will discuss in a tabular format now first we'll start with the steadfast defender 2024 meanwhile if you like to suggest any new topics for the same prelims yield series feel free to include in the comment section definitely i'll i'll, I'll try to explain in the videos steadfast defender 2024 the reason for this including is this is one of the largest military exercise after the cold war we all know that after the ussr disintegrated cold war stopped because the world previously it was a bipolar later it became the unipolar usa became dominant force until china emerged as a dominant force after the cold war it was it is a one of the largest military exercise among the nato member countries okay so NATO, you know, you know that friends, NATO is an alliance group between the America and uh, its Western European countries. And uh, tell me, what is the recent country we joined in the NATO? We all know that. NATO is having 32 member countries. Yeah? Which country recently joined? 31 country is the Sweden, of course. Oh, sorry, 31 is the Finland. What is the 32? So in this uh, exercise, around 80 uh, fighter jets and 50 ships and uh, more than 1100 combat aircraft like this combat vehicles they participated it is a uh, nato's largest military exercise since cold war <coughs> since uh, cold war and the duration january to may 2024 location actually this uh, exercises this exercise was planned in different different phases the first part it is uh, in the atlantic ocean to arctic ocean and the second part it will focus mainly on the northern europe east central europe and the eastern europe northern europe mainly the high north high north here you have to understand i'll show you in the map high north means okay the this part the high north is the one which is surrounding the arctic ocean as a part of the high north which i mean the regions like russia will be a part of the high north one uh, finland sweden norway these three that means russia four and uh, Iceland 5, Greenland 6, USA 7, Canada 8. All these present in the high north. This region is known as high north. Okay. As this is too bright to make, uh, I mean, easy visible to you, I use this uh, zoom option. I hope you, uh, you got a little bit clarity regarding this map. Next, NATO. NATO is a military alliance which formed in 1949 with the North Atlantic Treaty okay on 4th of april now the total nato members are 32 32 30 from european countries and two from the north american countries like america and canada headquarters of nato brussels belgium and the second one is those three 16 very important guys because in those three 16 interestingly we had this exercise in maldives okay but later we had some rough uh, equations with the maldives after the Maldivian government changed and they changed their foreign policy as well. Previously, they used to follow the India first foreign policy. Now they are getting more close to uh, forces like China and uh, Turkey as well. So this was the sixth, sixth edition of the exercise Dosi 16. Participants are the India, Maldives, Sri Lanka. This is a trilateral exercise and biennial for every two years it will happen. And these three countries along with the Mauritius, generally those four countries together we have colombo security conclave as well colombo security conclave where india maldives sri lanka and mauritius also will add that is a conclave where national uh, this uh, national advisors national security advisors they will participate in, the, in that meeting 
Next, co Coast Guards from these particular countries, they participated. Bangladesh participated as an observer country. Indian ships, ICGS, Samarth, Abhinav and Dornier. So they participated in this mission. This The mission first time has started in 1991 between India and Maldives. Later, Sri Lanka joined in 2012. These are the value addition points. Next, third one, 2024 Milan exercise. Actually, Milan is the multilateral exercise. That means so many countries participated. When these kind of so many countries are participated, obviously, they may ask you the purpose of the exercise or where the exercise conducted as one of the statement. This exercise is 12th edition of the Indian Navy's largest naval exercise. It uh, hold it. Vishakapatnam, over 50 countries participated. In this, uh, one of the significant thing to discuss is Defense Minister inaugurated the Nishar. Actually, Nishar is a platform which can be shared by the countries, countries which are participated in this uh, Milan exercise. It will help in the information sharing. Next, Tiger Triumph 24. This Tiger Triumph is between the India and US. Okay, let's see where it happened and this time what is the focused area. The Trigal Trim, it is a bilateral, that means between India and USA, and a tri-service exercise. Like I said earlier, Navy, Army, and Air Force. Three things will involve in the Tiger Triumph 24. Participants are India and USA. It was held in Vishakapatnam, Kakinada, and Kakinada of Andhra Pradesh. The focus is humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. So these are the areas they would like to cooperate, both India and USA. Next, the fifth one is exercise Bharat Shakti. Actually, Bharat Shakti is important because this is reflecting the Atma Nirbar. Okay? In this Bharat Shakti, we tested the weapons which we developed in India. As a part of that, even the interesting thing is we tested the long range version of the Agni missile with uh, this MIRV technology. So you have to know what is this MIRV technology and the difference between the normal missile and MIRV missile. Normal missile generally, it carries only one warhead, it delivers at one location. Simple, as simple as that. Whereas MIRV1, it carries the multiple warheads and it delivers those warheads at multiple locations. That means with single, single missile, we can target multiple sites. That is the advantage of MIRV. And you have to know what is MIRV stands for. Multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. That is the MIRV stands for. This is the, okay. And of course, this occurred in Pokhran the Pokhran firing range Rajasthan. Recently, we observed the 50th anniversary of the Pokhran nuclear test as well. In 1974, for the first time on 18th of May, we, we done the first nuclear test and 1998, May 11th to May 13th, we done the second nuclear test. Regarding the nuclear thing, we had already non-proliferation treaty, NPT, and CTBT, comprehensive test ban treaty. These are some of the treaties related to this uh, new non-proliferation. And uh, even India joined in some of the arms groups also recently like Australian group, Vasnar group, and uh, yes, these are the two, and MTCR, Missile Technology Control Regime. Of course, in the NSG, we did not join so far. And this value addition is here, this Agni missile with this MIRV technology was launched. Next, Shakti 2024. This is completely related to the Air Force. Okay, Here, we tested certain aircrafts. What are those aircrafts we tested? We'll see. It was happened in the Pokhran firing range in Rajasthan. This is a tri year for every three years. We do this one. Here we tested the Rafael, Sukhoi and a light combat Tejas, Mirage and MiG. Here this is a Rafael as well as a Mirage. Both these fighter jets are from France. Okay, We either took the help of the France technology or we directly imported from the France. Whereas the Sukhoi as well as the MiG fighter jets, they are from the Russia or S-12 USSR. Whereas the light combat aircraft Tejas, we developed indigenously. That knowledge you have to, you have, to have. Next, seventh one, Sada Tansik. So this is regarding the operation, I mean, exercise between the Indian Army and Royal Saudi Arabia. This happened in the Mahajan Field Firing Range in Rajasthan. In West Asia, we are having good relation with the UAE and Saudi Arabia. That was even reflected, if you remember, when Abhinandan Vardaman was caught by Pakistan, at that time, UAE and Saudi Arabia, they forced Pakistan in the organization of Islamic cooperation and we got the better outcome. Next, Naval Commanders Conference 2024. So the reason for uh, picking this one is, for the first time, Naval Commanders, this uh, operation, this officers uh, conference was happened in 2024, the first edition. It is for every two years, they are going to, I mean, organize for 2024 onwards. It was an INS Vikramaditya. It was happened on INS Vikramaditya. Actually, we are having two aircraft carrier. One is INS Vikramaditya. What is the other aircraft carrier? Comment the answer. 
next let's see the exercise name and the countries involved let's see for for example with australia we are having exercises like austra hind aus index pitch block with bangladesh sampripti india bangladesh corpat table top and uh, samvedana with the brazil and south africa india brazil south africa this multilateral exercise with china hand in hand with egypt cyclone france shakti varuna and garuda indonesia garuda shakti indonesia india corpatch israel blue flag japan dharma guardian jimex kazakhstan kajind and kyrgyzstan kanjar malaysia harimavu shakti or hope exercise maldives ekuvirian and ekta very important due to the the stormy relation with maldives in these days mongolia nomadic elephant myanmar table top nepal surikiran oman alnaga nasim albahar and eastern bridge qatar zairal bahar russia indra and avia indra seychelles lemiti singapore simbex sri lanka mitra shakti srinex samvedana thailand maitri indo thai corpat siam bharat uae desert eagle so these are the bilateral exercises regarding the multilateral one malabar navy exercise between the india usa and japan this is related to quad quad okay sometimes we invite australia also into this cobra gold asia pacific countries samvedana south asian regional nations even nowadays uh, we are doing this uh, navy exercise among all this indian ocean naval symposium as a part of indian ocean rim association as a part of sagar as a part of sagar okay tell me guys who proposed the word sagar who proposed the word sagar and uh, expand the word sagar okay expand the word sagar this is about today's defense exercises as we reach to the end of this video this video is about the high link series video on defense exercises and feel free to suggest me more number of things i'll try to include in the rest of the race of videos as well i hope these videos are useful to you thanks for watching these videos have a great day jai hind